We have uh, in our high school boys golf program. We have about we have actually ten young men. Um, most of them are inexperienced, so we'll start to rebuild the program back. Um, they actually went through their first tournament uh, at Okima last week. We had one of the boys shoot 88. Um, they had played for us last year as a freshman, he's a sophomore this year. And the other kids, the younger men, are just learning the game, so they're getting that experience. In our junior high program, on the boys' side, we have about eight kids right now. Um, we have a couple of them that are going to be really good golfers, I believe. They'll be both be freshmen next year to help our high school team. And um, girl-wise, we have five in the middle school. Uh, they're all young, uh, six seventh graders. Um, so they're in the process of getting their experience, and and hopefully they'll move on into the high school program uh, when they when they get, become freshmen. We have eight at the girl high school level this year, and uh, we have one senior, one sophomore, and six freshmen. Uh, we've been to a couple tournaments already this year. One at Sapalpa, one at Okima, and uh, we've. Uh, won both of those tournaments with those young kids. Um, so we're hoping that that will be translated into more success as we go. We go to Woka tomorrow. I don't know what it's going to be like over there, how much rain they've gotten. <coughs> yeah, uh, we'll see how that works out. But I, I contribute this mostly to, um, you know, we've had some really good golf teams here, both boys and girls. We had uh, Jeff Lawrence, we had a state champion. Uh, the years we uh, had uh, Alan Johnson and Kyle Hefner, you know, we were shooting under 300. 300 is, that's a really good score as a team. Um, uh, Kyle shot 62 out here during a uh, state qualifier uh, his senior year. And the girls have been state runner-up twice over the last five years. So, you know, the, the program's established itself and I contribute that again to our summer program that we have that we started a few years back. We've had a lot of young kids uh, involved in that. <clears throat> it almost starts out, we, we, we have summer, I say we have 60, 70 kids out there, and we do on a rotating basis. Um, then I'll start out with having uh, 40 or 45 there the first time, and then that'll dwindle a little bit as it gets a little bit warmer in the month of June. You know, we had it in the afternoons. Last year we moved it to, to uh, in the morning, and I think that worked a little bit better for us. But I really didn't want to compete with the uh, summer tennis program because that's been so successful. And, you know, as you know, our tennis teams have been real well successful here at Henrietta too. But I think it gives you a little bit of background about what we're doing at this point. Um, you know, golf and tennis, those kind of sports, those are lifetime sports. That's something you can do the rest of your life. You know, I think I encourage kids in junior high uh, to, to participate in, in multiple sports. We think that, or I feel like, you know, you're in the sixth, seventh, eighth grade. Go find something that you like. You know, the first year you might try tennis, for instance. If you like it, that's great. Play it. Next year you might try another sport. See if you like that better than what you thought you did. That's why I think with these kids that all want to go, well, okay, I'm going to play this sport, and I'm not going to play anything else. Well, they're missing out on so much, so many things that they could have done had they participated in some other sports. So we, in our, in our school system, we try to encourage our kids to play multiple sports. You know, only, what is it, 1% of all the athletes of every high school there is in America become professional. What do you do with all those other 99 kids, percent kids? You know, hopefully they get a college education. It's just one or two percent that are going to play pro ball. So I think when you put all your eggs in one basket, you're missing out on a lot of things that you could possibly be doing. That, that's my philosophy. I think a lot of coaches feel that way. And it gives you a good round of experience too. You know, you, you, you build all your friendships and sports gives you an opportunity to build friendships with other kids that become lifetime friends. In high school, if you have the opportunity to play in college, those guys become lifetime friends. And, and then it's a social network 
You'd be surprised what people do, how they network as far as jobs are concerned, even through that and, and through sports. But I mean that that's just how I feel about it. And I encourage kids to even even my daughters, I, I encourage them to play football. I encourage them to play basketball. Well, coach, I, I need to really work on my game. I said, you know, you need to have a social motivation with these other kids. You need to be involved in other things besides just golf. So, and I think we have staff now, um, you know, guys and gals that work at our school that, that believe in that, that the kids need to participate in other things. That they're, they're not, you know, you get in that situation where people try to hoard individuals. And I, I think, you know, I know like our basketball coaches encourage our kids to go play back baseball or to go play another sport this spring rather than be in the gym shooting hoops. He encourages them to play football in the fall and I think that makes you a better rounded school and I think that too again also increases your opportunity to win when everybody's working towards the same goal maybe I've gotten off the path here a little bit I'm sorry but um, you know um, I really enjoyed doing this it's, 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 been, it's been my life and my kids there, you know, my son went on, on a college scholarship to play golf. He could have played football, I guess. He had that opportunity, but chose to play golf. And uh, he's been successful at the college level. And, uh, I just, I just, I think that our kids that we have gone through our program, most of them have been successful in one way or another um, in their adult life. And I hope that we were just a small part of that to help them get to that point, obviously.